Hi everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Today we're going to talk about the uh, PHAD pressure transducer kit. There uh, have been some questions about um, like custom Pico scales, how to use it. So we're going to do a full detailed overview of what's included in the kit and do a couple demos uh, on a real uh, vehicle uh, to see how to use it. So first here is here are the <laughs> kind of the evolution. So I've been building the pressure transducers for a few years now. This is the original prototype. Uh, still works great. I've modified it a few times, including a uh, lit on/off switch. Now, one drawback of this little guy is the box is so small I couldn't put the switch on the side. So what's in your, you know, um, bouncing around in your. Uh, the trunk or something, the switch can actually be pushed and it'll stay on and drain your battery. Version 2, I put the switch on the side by the BNC output, so even if something bumps up against this, the switch will be less likely to get bumped. So again, illuminated switch. And uh, version 3 here, this is the current version. I had to change boxes, the supplier ran out of these. So this is even more rugged, has the same functionality. Um, so these are the ones that are currently on sale. And as you can see, we have a few units ready to ship. So let's uh, see what's inside, you know, full kit. So you'll receive a box like this, and it'll be labeled to so the transducer number and the type of leads that you ordered. So let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay, so what's inside the kit? Here's the transducer power supply and the lead that you order. So this is a BNC uh, for Pico Scope or Pantech or Autel. Here's the power supply for the transducer. First thing you want to do is make sure that light illuminates. It means your battery is good. I also included a business card. Put that on your fridge and if anything goes wrong you can call me up and tell me how much it sucks. <laughs> um, here we have two separate transducers. So the first one is a 200 PSI. So this is for in-cylinder pressure testing, comes with a quick connect, and then we have the vacuum low pressure, so it's minus 14.5 to 30 PSI, and I included a couple um, short tubes so you can adapt this to whatever you're trying to measure, like your intake manifold. Um, so that's what's included in the kit. Now you might ask, well, how do I connect this to my cylinder? Let's look at some of the things that um, you might need in addition to the kit. So I try to keep the cost down. So the kit right now sells for $375, which is about one third of a full PicoScope kit. And if you want to buy just the power supply, so you can use both of these transducers at the same time. Uh, you can get an extra one for 250 bucks uh, with your order. So just let me know um, on the order form. Now, most people who are ordering this will already have your standard old school Actron. This is a, a CP7827 compression gauge. Comes with some adapters. And the reason I put the quick connect on the 200 PSI transducer is that you, know, you want to take the valve core out and then just that connects right there. You're ready to do your measurements. Super easy. So if you don't have a compression hose, just get one of these on Amazon. They're like 30 bucks. But I assume most people already have something that'll work. So
So next up is battery replacement. The power source for uh, this box is a 9 volt battery. So if you turn your switch on and it doesn't light up, uh, your battery inside is probably dead. Very easy to replace. Just undo the four screws. And it'll be right there. Now the battery life, I actually calculated the expected battery life. The, the biggest current draw here is the actual LED in the switch. So this battery should last over 30 hours of use. So you, you probably won't have to replace it for quite a few years. But if you do, it's super easy. Pop this cover off. And there's your 9 volt battery. So it's not rechargeable, but it's super easy to replace. And I guess the, you know, my philosophy for <laughs> making this tool is I want something that doesn't cost too much, can do everything that the fancy tools can do, and it's easily serviceable in the field. If your battery dies, just boom, put another one in. I don't want to recharge you know something and if it breaks uh, it's basically you know it's a simple simple device it, and it's you can get in there and check your connections and it should be like I said the other one my first prototype it's still going strong five years later no issues at all uh, next up probably the most commonly asked question is how do I download the custom scales for the picoscope now this transducer works really well with the Pico because um, I wrote custom scales for it so you don't have to convert volts to PSI manually it's all done on the scope so it's super slick um, once you place your order on the website I'll send you an email that goes something like this thank you for ordering the kit, um, confirm your shipping address, uh, do the payment via PayPal, and then there are three links here that are very useful. So the first one takes you to the website where you can fill out the form and it has a description of the kit next link is where you'll find the picoscope scales so let's click on that and you'll get permission to download these from uh, my Google Drive so there's one two three four five custom scales the 200 PSI transducer, uh, optional 1000 PSI transducer, uh, one customer asked for a higher um, rating, so those are available separately. And then three scales for the vacuum transducer. Now, why three scales? Well, because um, you can have different units, so inches of mercury, regular PSI from minus 15 to 30, and then what you would see on your scanner as the map reading, so manifold absolute pressure. So if you're at full vacuum, you're at zero. When you're at atmosphere, you're at 15, and then it goes up to 45. So you basically want to select all of these, right click, and say download. Uh, put them on your desktop download ready so save file okay so it's up here so we can basically go back to our desktop all right so double click on that we 
basically um, all of these are PS probe files. Okay, extract to like extract all. That's fine. Okay, here we go. So here we have the five downloaded scales. Now let's um let's see exit out of here. So you need to download the PicoScope software, and that's you just Google how to do that. And open up PicoScope 6 Automotive or the regular Pico uh, software, it doesn't matter. You can use these scales on either platform. So I actually have my scope hooked up right now. But if you don't have your scope hooked up, let's unplug it. You'll just see a blank screen like this. So you want to go to file and let's see, no, tools, custom probes, and in your library it will be empty. If you just downloaded the software, you'll have these standard Pico uh, you know custom probes, but nothing in the library. So you want to import and let's go to our desktop basically all of these so you can do them one by one that's the only way Pico allows you to do that so now you can see that the 200 PSI probe has been imported so import the ones that you want so 1000 PSI you don't need uh, let's do the vacuum probes there's a second one that's the map inches of mercury and last but not least the minus 15 to 30 PSI okay fantastic so that's how you download the Pico scales so now let's uh, hook up some transducers to my old van over there do a couple of checks. I'll show you, you know, some basic, uh, basic ways to use the transducer. Um, and then, I know some people don't have a Pico scope. They just have a, a Varus or Vantage Pro. Um, these transducers, transducers will work perfectly with those scopes. You'll get a nice waveform. The only thing is the scales will just be in volts. So we can uh, go over how to convert volts to PSI for the two uh, transducers there. Um, pretty straightforward, just have to do a little math.